Hi Libra and welcome to your January reading. This is for the first half of January for the Sun Moon Rising sign of Gemini. My name is Heather. I'm from the Crystal Bean Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you to anyone new who is out there watching and again and to anyone who has already subscribed. Thank you for all of the love and support you have given me on my channel. And um, I would like to, so below this email, if you'd like to contact me, sorry, but below this video, if you'd like to contact me is my email. It's posted below along with a mailing address for those of you who would like to send postcards. But do you know I am doing, holding a competition or a contest for the remaining um, days in December. So if you'd like to enter this contest, just send me an email and just let me know that you want to be included in the draw. So the draw is going to be for a, an energy bracelet, a, an energy meditation bracelet. So I do, um, I make jewelry, I do wire wrapped uh, crystals and minerals. And uh, so I do use semi-precious stones in my jewelry. And I'm not, that's not what I'm giving away. What I'm giving away is a, a bracelet that I've made and it's going to be of beads. And there's also going to be a semi-precious stone that represents each of the major chakras. So it is an overall energy balancing bracelet because I'm also a, um, a Reiki master as well. And the bracelets are infused with Reiki energy as well for that extra healing energy. And so if you'd like to be entered in that contest, please uh, send me an email just letting me know that you want to be included in the draw. I am doing the draw on January 1st and I will be announcing the winner on YouTube. I will also be emailing the winner out to let them know that I that they've won. And I will also be asking them for their address so I can mail it out to them and also for their wrist size so I can custom make it to their size. So for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I am an energy healer and intuitive. And uh, for those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much for all of your support. I really wouldn't be here without you. I appreciate um, I pre appreciate all the support and the positive messages that I've been receiving from so many people. And uh, so I'm going to get started with your reading. It's a general reading. And as a general reading, the messages will resonate differently for everyone. So be sure to check out your moon and rising sign as well for a complete picture of the energies around you. I'm using the Gilded Tarot deck along with the Celtic Cross spread. The Celtic Cross lets me see what's happening now, challenges, potentials, the root of the situation, the recent past, what your strengths are, and the energies coming in towards you. So again, this is for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Libra, and it's for the first half of January. So Libra. Okay, so you start it with the King of Cups energy. So the King of Cups is, is um, this is someone who has mastered the energy of the Cups. And the Cups is, is water energy. So this is emotions. It's, it's, this is someone who is very emotionally stable and grounded. Uh, someone who's very supportive of others, a supportive leader, uh, tolerant, empathetic towards others. Knows how to get what he wants um, and knows how to knows how to get what he wants on, from on an emotional level. He's very um, fulfilled emotionally, but also knows how to, how to um, help others reach emotional fulfillment and guide them on their paths as well. So this could be your energy, Libra, or it could be someone around you. Cups energy, uh, because it's a lot, it's water can be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So there could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that plays a significant role in your life, Libra, or this could be your energy. And it's being crossed by the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is, this is usually about good fortune, um, having luck, and it can, but it can also represent a turning point in your life. So Libra, if you've been going through some challenges, the good news here with the Wheel of Fortune is that the, those um, challenges are coming to an end because the Wheel of Fortune, you know, it, it's, a, it's about cycles and how everything has their ups and downs. And, and uh, so if, you're, if, you, if things haven't been going your way or you've been struggling or you've been having difficulties, then you're down in here right now and do know that that wheel, with that wheel turning, it's coming up. So good fortune, luck, opportunities, they'll be coming your way. 
And I do feel like perhaps you have been going through some challenges, Libra, because now in your uh, foundation position, we do have the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords has that energy of um, having obstacles in your life and challenges. Um, it can also be that someone's been very underhanded and you've, you've been dealing with some underhanded shady dealings as well. Because um, the Five of Swords can be a card of battles, but it's, it's a one battle, but it's a, it's a battle that's won at the expense of others. So whether or not that's you that has, has, is the one who has, has won the battle at the end, you've hurt other people along the way, or you've been one of the people that have been hurt along the way, but it's still an obstacle and a challenge. Okay, and then you have the Three of Wands in your recent past. So this is energies that could still be lingering, uh, but they are slowly moving into the background. And the Three of Wands is, so you've, you've been following a path or a direction, um, Libra, and you've, I, I, you, you've been perhaps in, involved in something that has required some teamwork and effort amongst a group of people. And again, that could be where this has come into play, um, where there was perhaps some, maybe people weren't, some people in that group weren't being completely above board or honest with every, with the other people in the group. And, uh, but it does talk about, about you, you, you were involved in, in a group activity. And, um, yeah, and so, like, I, I feel like that's where this has come from, this, this, this competition or the, this challenge is that you were involved in a group activity, some kind of a project, um, you, perhaps you thought it was an opportunity, and, and I'm feeling like this is more something that's happened to you, Libra, versus you doing this to someone else, that perhaps you were cheated, or you were, um, again, someone was perhaps deceitful that was in this group, and this is what's caused this being down on your luck. Um, but again, do know that, um, that things are turning, that that wheel is turning and, and good fortune is now coming your way because you've reached that turning point now and things are going to start looking up. But one of the things, one of the advices here, your strength Libra, is that of the hermit. And the hermit energy is, this This is Virgo energy, so there could be a Virgo in your life that's, that's offering guidance and support for you. But this is also about going within for clarity and being on a quest for personal truth. So I think whatever happened with this situation, I do feel like you were jilted. I feel like somebody has, you, you do have this little bit of a sense of betrayal, that someone betrayed you, that you thought you were in a collaborative uh, team effort with. And, you know, it, it's really made you kind of go within and pull back. And but so you are now on a... You now you've gone within to seek um, seek your personal truth and for spiritual illumination and and that quest for for clarity and guidance and what to do next and and how do you handle this person or or people that you were in this group with um, if if you feel like you've been stabbed in the back. So the direction that you're moving into Libra is that of the Hierophant, and the Hierophant is so this is about it's, it's Taurus energy, so that again, this could be a Taurus that's coming in to help you out of this situation and perhaps offering you an opportunity that's going to help to turn that luck around for you. Uh, but if it can also, if this is your energy, this can also be that you are now, um, you're being more conventional, being more um, traditional in, in your endeavors and, and how you're moving forward. So you... Um, you aren't doing anything that's crazy and outside the box, that you're gonna do some stuff that's more conventional or traditional um, as you're moving forward and as you're seeking that clarity, um, that's how what you're gonna be guided to do. Like basically follow the path, that, that stable path, the tried and true way of doing things. And you have um, the Four of Cups in your attitude towards or the, your view of the situation. So you're really feeling like, you're, you're really feeling, the, the Four of Cups energy is one where you're, you're really feeling unfulfilled. Um, this situation has left you feeling unfulfilled. Again, I, I do really get the sense of you were let down by others. Um, 
and disappointed and and so this is what's led to this unfulfillment because you really thought that this was going to go somewhere that this was a really good opportunity for you and and um, again I feel like someone was deceitful here and uh, kept stuff from you and then you found out that 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 opportunity wasn't quite what you thought it was and um, and it didn't turn out the way you were expecting it to and that's what's led to this feeling of unfulfillment but you know um, the, the great thing, Libra, is that you have this hand from the universe, this gift of, from God that is coming in for you. This is an opportunity. It's a gift. And again, it's a gift from the divine. So this, this, is, this is spirit advising you, take this opportunity, take this gift. It's being cupped, a cup energy. This is something that will lead you to emotional fulfillment. Um, so like really go within and find that and listen to your intuition, find that clarity and make sure you don't miss this opportunity by focusing on all the things on all the things that went wrong um, previously in your previous situation. Because you now have judgment card here and this is what you need to know about the situation. This is this is also the, the um, what's influencing the situation. So. You know, I, I guess this is a little bit of a just desserts kind of thing um, because, <coughs> excuse me, Libra, judgment is is a card of clarity. Um, so I do feel like you, you've, you, you will get that clarity you're seeking, but it's also a final decision um, and it's a wake up call to your life life's purpose and I do feel like when as you're doing this um, personal inward journey that you are going to find something that does emotionally fulfill you and make you feel like you're following your life's purpose but again being dis being judgment this is also about a final decision and I, I really feel like um, you know and this might help you to release this feeling of unfulfilled if, if someone has been unjust towards you because this is knowing that you know with judgment here um, this person's gonna get they're gonna get their just desserts like so if they were if they treated you badly if they deceived you in any way um, it'll, it'll come back it'll come back on them so don't even let this this worry you don't don't give this a second thought don't focus on this don't focus on that which doesn't fulfill you anymore let that go um, because judgment is here you know there's gonna this person will get what they deserve or those people will get what they deserve um, but you have an opportunity for something that's going to be emotionally fulfilling and this is something that's going to make you feel like you're fulfilling your life purpose so make sure you don't miss that opportunity Libra and you will need to make a decision you have the two of wands here uh, so the Two of Wands is, is about making a choice, um, making a decision. You have two paths laid out in front of you. And I do feel like you are going to have, um, you will have to decide. And I really feel like this is linked to these two cards as well. That you're going to be having, part of this choice is to continue to feel sorry for yourself and feel unfulfilled and feel stuck like nothing ever works out for you because of this person that has wronged you. Or the other path is, and then you'll stay unfulfilled, or the other path is to take that opportunity when it's present, presented and start thinking about what, to, what you're grateful for. So when, you, when the opportunity comes, you see it and you're not focusing on, um, on how you were wronged. Okay. So I, you are still going through, and this is something that's in the near future as well, or the potential outcome or where, where you're headed. I do feel like if you have the Nine of Wands, I am going to clarify this a little more. I'm, I'm really feeling like this is linked to that path that you choose if you choose not to let that go. Um, if, yeah, if, if you don't take the opportunity, the one that is that can that has the opportunity for fulfillment, um, that has that, that opportunity for your life's purpose and that wake up call and you're headed down the path where you're just focusing on on um, on on what went wrong before in that past situation that the outcome I feel like this is a warning from spirit that the outcome is that of the nine of wands and the nine of wands energy is one of being exhausted and having too many burdens there's just way too much on your mind 
if you you do need to make that choice because um, if not you're going to be burdened with with hanging on to hanging on to emotions and hanging on to thoughts that just don't serve you anymore i'm going to pull some clarifiers so just give me one moment libra Okay, so you have the Page of Wands coming, Wands here. So I do feel like there is this opportunity, to, opportunity from the divine that comes in is something that's going to be like a project based. Uh, it's going to be something that's going to be very creative, and for you to be able to tap into your creative energies. And if that's being clarified by the High Priestess, and the High Priestess is. This is the most intuitive card in the tarot deck. So this is about really about um, trusting yourself and following your intuition as you're moving forward and making those decisions. And then you have the Ace of Cups here. So again, this opportunity is being stressed again that a Cups energy, Ace of Cups is a new beginning. So this is a new beginning for emotional fulfillment, emotional satisfaction. But you have to take the initiative, Libra. You actually have to like you have to put in the work. Um, you can't just sit on the couch and let it fall in your lap and and think that that's that's going to lead to emotional fulfillment. When the opportunity comes, you need to take a hold of it and you need to go with it and you need to move forward with it and you need to do everything that you can to, to make it successful um, because you are going to have that opportunity coming in for emotional fulfillment um, in or around the first half of January. I'm going to pull another card. This is an angel tarot card and uh, just see if there's any last little bit of advice from spirit and the angels regarding this situation. And I'm really sorry, Libra, that you're going through something difficult. If, that's, if that message is resonating with you and um, you do feel like you've been stabbed in the back or betrayed or let down by, by people that you were working with, I'm really sorry that you're going through that. That's not fun for anybody. Okay, and you have the High Priestess. So you have this twice. So you have the High Priestess. You have the High Priestess. And you have the hermit here. These are all about going within. Um, this is all these. All these are about finding that um, that that hidden truth within yourself. Finding that clarity from within. It's all about spiritual illumination. Your quest for personal truth. Um, trusting yourself. Trusting your intuition. Knowing that you have all the answers within. You just have to go within and, and still yourself and still your mind and listen to um, that higher self within. So the message with the High Priestess, this is the Archangel Haniel, and it says, listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. So as this opportunity is, is presented to you, this opportunity, um, you are gonna have to make a choice, you are gonna have to make a decision, and just like really go within and listen to what your gut is telling you with that decision how to navigate through it and move forward with it and get it up and off the ground, this creative project or endeavor and this opportunity for you. And I'm gonna pull another card. This is a living Reiki healing card. So Reiki is energy healing. And um, we, we do get blocks in our energy fields and we also, we have subconscious blocks or limiting beliefs that we don't even realize that we have. And I find that these cards are really nice in helping to release and let go of some of those limiting beliefs or blocks and the energy blockages that we have. So you have the message of expressing gratitude. So the simple act of expressing gratitude to someone can make a big difference to that person's life. People like to be appreciated for who they are and what they do. So saying thank you can make them happy and usually makes you feel happy too. So just, um, so this is about expressing gratitude to others, but I also feel Libra, like this is a little bit about expressing gratitude for yourself and for what you have. So rather than, than um, feeling unfulfilled and focusing on what isn't fulfilling you, um, if you can take a viewpoint or a perspective of having attitude and expressing, sorry, having gratitude and expressing gratitude, that you will see that opportunity more clearly and more quickly when it comes in for you. 
And I'm going to pull one more card. This is a Wisdom for Healing card. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, Libra. Um, and I like these cards because they have like little life lessons in them. And, but it's all about your attitude and, and having a positive attitude and perspective and how that helps to uh, helps you to um, to heal and grow. So I'm just going to pull one of these. So Libra, we have practiced the art of transformation. So for the first two weeks of January, Libra, acknowledge one situation in your life that is taking away your power, your personal power. Transform that situation into something positive and maintain that perspective as a spiritual discipline for the entire um, two weeks. When your spirit slips into negativ negativity, simply breathe and then pray your way back to an inner space of positive visualization. So your goal for the first two weeks of January, Libra, is to practice the art of transformation. Beautiful message. So Libra, that concludes your reading for the first half of January. If you would like to be entered into that draw, again, my email address is right below the video. Make sure you shoot me an email and, and just let me know that you want to be entered into the draw. And make sure that you like, share, subscribe. Thank you for joining me and take care.